Thanks, Stan. With us, I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Weekdays with Bernie segment tonight. Big shakeup at MSNBC. They're moving their primetime lineup around and replacing a hateful commentator. Some in the liberal press are very, very upset by this and have distorted the situation in news coverage. But if you want to know the truth, go to the Baltimore Sun website and read TV critic David Zorowick, who has reported the story honestly. Joining us now from Miami, the purveyor of BernardGoldberg.com, Mr. Goldberg. Bernie, I want to show everybody a chart. This is 2010 cable news rankings. Twelve, the top 12 shows are all Fox News Channel shows. In fact, Hammer and McCallum at 9 a.m., John Scott and Jenna Lee at 11 a.m., Megyn Kelly at 1 p.m. They all beat every one of MSNBC's primetime shows. Now, that's almost unheard of because primetime, obviously, has so many more viewers than dayside. Yet, if you right. read about the shakeup, you would think right. that the MSNBC people are rape monsters. Now, that's outright deception by the liberal press, is it not? Yeah, but I need you to help me out in the beginning. I've been, I was tied up all weekend watching football and stuff. Did somebody leave MSNBC? Yeah, they, they took one of their guys out, and then they're moving it everybody could, else around. It doesn't really matter who the guy is or, or why they took him out. So you, so you don't want to tell me no, who it was? Okay. No, I don't I'm, want to I'm get involved with any I'm, of that personal stuff. I, I'm Look. only... I'm only Kidding. Okay, Let's but here's the, this, I want everybody to know the importance of the story because you and I are in the business. We pay attention to this stuff because we're in the business. Why should anybody care? Okay, and they really don't care. The folks don't care. But when you have a press in America as blatantly dishonest as you have today in almost everything, who, that they they love MSNBC, they being the left wing exactly. print media, they love them, and and now right. it's tottering. It's like this. So they're going to do anything they can to save it. So let's so let's start out by putting this in perspective, uh, saying that, and as as almost all the stories did, that this person who left MSNBC had the highest ratings, was the most successful person on. That's all true, but that's like saying he was the tallest midget in the room. I, I mean, having great ratings at MSNBC isn't really saying very much. But did now, they say that? Point, they didn't say that. Did they say Bernie? Did you read anywhere? No, that, did you that's read anywhere said, that MSNBC in perspective? Right. That MSNBC is the 28th no rated cable no. network. Spike TV kisses their butt. Spike TV, <laughs> the carrot channel beats them, I think. Okay? Did you read anywhere right. about that? No. Okay. And that's why I said, let me put this into perspective. Uh, and and the reason they don't get into that is because look, a lot of so-called stream reporters share the same views as the dominant view on that network. I mean, you like specifics. Let me give you. Let me give you a, 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 two specifics. One, uh, there's a writer for the Orlando Sentinel, Hal Bodeker. He's a good guy. Hal Bodeker is a good guy, but he wrote that this anchorman who's no longer there. He said he put an MSNBC on the map. And his anti-George W. Bush commentaries were audacious and passionate. Well, what is audacious and passionate? This is a person, this is an anchorman who went on the air and shouted into the camera to George W. Bush, shut the hell up. He also asked a question one night, is George W. Bush a pathological liar or an idiot in chief? And this, could you imagine if you said any of those yeah, things? Yeah, if they I had said that about that Barack Obama, there would, be, there would be, sure, uh, look. We know the double standard, but it, it is, and we've accepted the double standard, Bernie and I have, because we can't do anything about it. I mean, Bernie left right. CBS, I left CBS, now we're at Fox News. But let me ask you this. When you read in the print press about all of this garbage, and that's what it is, this network with NBC's resources behind it to be ranked 28th is a disgrace. That's a failure. Now, they could squeeze out a few million dollars of profit, I guess, but it's a failure. But the Fox News Channel is a colossal success, colossal success. You never read that. I very rarely read no. that. No, as, uh, you're, you're absolutely right. And that's because, look, to, to break it down to the simplest terms, they like those guys and they don't like you guys. I mean, the New York Times, just to take one newspaper, the New York Times in the past two years ran 12 stories, at least 12 that I found, uh, about Rachel Maddow, the new, the new big star at MSNBC. 12 Valentine's
stories, and one of them began Rachel Maddow. You ready for this? Rachel Maddow spends downtime in an 1865 house in western Massachusetts. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, it's like you can't make stuff like that up. It's embarrassing. Uh, look. And, and the title, the headline over it is, A Pundit in the Country. Yeah. The, and so, I want to tell everybody that, that last year, 2010, Fox was ranked the fourth highest cable network behind USA, ESPN, which spends you know a ton of money on the football games and stuff, uh, and TNT. So the, if it's a business story, which a lot of this stuff was, the success of, of Fox News Channel is unprecedented in the country. Yet, as you said, because they don't like the tone of the network, that, that is constantly diminished. But I'll tell you what, it is a corruption story. And when you have an industry as powerful as the American media being, I think, as corrupt as I have ever seen it in this country's history, that this is just a small thing, small. But okay. it's, it epitomizes the larger in? problem. I'll give you the last word. Can, let me just throw in that I think the real villain here, or the other villain, are the management people at MSNBC. They allowed this anchorman to defame people, to smear people, and David Zerwick, who you mentioned, wrote, wrote in the Baltimore Sun that he was the McCarthy of the left. He, he was a character assassin, and they let him get away with that because they were so desperate. They were the head of a network that was a miserable failure that they let one of their people defame and slander and character assassin people he didn't like because because he was that much more successful than everybody else. Because if on you their will, network, he was the tallest right. in right. the room. And we they might point out that, with that I want to just point out that Mr. Zurawick himself, writing for the Baltimore Sun as a TV critic, is a liberal. But he told the yeah. truth. He absolutely right. told the truth of what's going on. Bernie, thanks very much.